saw the previous video or where they're all, these are all going to come out, but uh, now we're going back into the little town of Red Creek. Red yeah, Creek. Almost into Red Creek. Red Creek. <laughs> Red Creek. Gotta go to the post office. Gotta go to the post office. We need stamps. We need stamps. We need stamps. Sunflowers are out. Beautiful fall day, guys. Here we go. Look at those clouds. You're thinking about raining on us. Uh, it's supposed to rain a little bit today or tomorrow, I think. It's like it's supposed to be hot tomorrow. Yeah, it's been really hot. It was like 87 in the house in September. We're supposed to be getting that uh, some rain coming up the coast from that hurricane. Oh yeah, from hurricane. But we're not I'm supposed to see that till probably Tuesday. If we get any of it, they said it may not get to New York. Yeah, we're pretty far from that. Could get some rain. Here's the little 104 store, the greasy spoon of the area, a little truck stop. Here's the red light. Flash. Ah. development down in there. We live about seven little, miles from Fairhaven. Bunch of little double wide trailers. Laundromat, car wash. Laundromat and car wash. Speed limit, 50 miles. This is the cardboard acres. Housing or apartment Red complex. Street gardens. Everybody called it cardboard acres from here. Cardboard acres. Building, I guess. Cardboard walls. That used to be the gas station back right there. Used to? Used to. Used to be. actually closed for lunch. 11.30 to 1. When I first heard that, I thought it was hilarious. I wasn't used to that stuff. But post office, and this is a bigger post office too, isn't it? Because there's some really little hole-in-the-wall post office out this way. So he's going to go right. in. i got to take this letter with me. And get it. He's going to bring his letter in. i got to get a bunch of stamps. Oh, I'm getting paid for guys. <sighs> but I'll keep talking until he comes back with his roll of stamps. I am so ready to yeah, take my nap. Let's see, we got all these pictures I gotta put away. They're all over, we've got milk, bread. Milk, bread, hot dogs, hamburgers, and we even bought ice cream. He's losing weight and I'm so proud of my husband. Yay, I wish I was losing faster. Oh, I did turn the camera around guys, but I'm so sleepy and right now, I just have trouble with the flip function sometimes. So he's getting our stamps. I'm dreaming about my nap. And uh, all that good stuff. So we've got here, yeah, United States Post Office, Red Creek, New York, 13143. So this is the little post office in the little town that we live in. And they are pretty good about helping you out in here. Let's see. I always bring my little bag with me. And I'm still working on my poncho, if you haven't seen it yet. Clay bought me a subscription to Crochet World. And I decided I'm going to try to crochet a few patterns out of there. 
So this is one of the first ones and it's a poncho. So I don't know how good it's going to look on. It might make me look really heavy since I'm already heavy. But in the winter, ah, sorry guys, <sighs> when I'm freezing, I guess I'll be really happy for this. So it's a little poncho. I'm almost done with it. So as you can see, it's going to be big and warm. And so I'm trying to, you know, keep upgrading my skills so that it's better. So anyway, let's, let's, let me see if I can pull it up further. You can see it's going to be big. But it starts off like that and then it ends into this like shell stitch. I can't think of the name. I want to say Irish, Irish stitch, but I don't think that's a... Uh, so people are probably thinking, why is she talking to herself in that car? And here he comes. He's got some stamps. He looks like he's halfway smiling. He's coming in. He's reading how something is on his mind. One of the ladies at the fire, de or fire department at the post